Hello, Dr. Red here, and I am on a new map with um, the mods. This mod pack is called the Crash Landing. It is made by Iskander, if I can think I said that right. Um, he compiled this mod. Its main mods, I think, is like Environmine and um, Acceliocraft, I think is what it's called. Um, but one of the first things you need to do is look at the quest book. But to enable it, I need to do this. There we go. It gave me another one. I don't need it. I've played this this one time before. A little bit. So I know where the stuff is. So I can put that there with other books. Um, but to get started, we should just look at the first quests. So you can read this if you want. You can pause the video and read that. Um, so let's get into basic survival. Open that up. So I've got the backstory so you can read that if you want to um, and the important information you can also read that if you want to but I know how to start so I'm gonna get into it so just the first quest so you can have a look at this, what this says um, but basically saying I need fewer transposes fluid transposes to get the first rewards to get started so I know it says here these are fluid transposes but I'm gonna need a wrench to get them, so I'm gonna get this here, the crescent hammer, shift, right click, pick them up, there we go, so now it says I have it, so I can claim the reward. So this mod, really the whole time, you really want this camel pack, so let's put my back, um, so what you need to do with the camel pack is you need to put the water on it, just like that, fill it up to full, back on my back when well, as you can see in the bottom left part of my screen right there it's got my heat and my um water my first and and also so I got water um food and heat to worry about now instead of just hunger so you know this cold water and extra water here cold water is just like water but it makes um, you cool down a little bit as well. I'm gonna place this back down. Place him here though. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is look at the quests again. So let's look at the easy route and the hard route. This game is game mode is very, very hard, so we're gonna start with the easy route. So, um you can read this. So we need a dust and then we can get the the basically the starty starting easy route supplies. So I'm going to go get a dust, so this is the outside, the whole world is made out of dust, as you can see, you cannot see really anything in the distance, I suppose it looks like a fuel tank maybe that's exploded, don't want to get close to that, but it'll start burning, and it'll die very quickly, but I'm going to get a few pieces of dust, I need one, but okay, I'm going to go back in here, I don't want to stand out in the, in the sun because my heat will gain and I might get heat stroke and I'll lose water quicker. So I'm gonna submit that and claim my rewards. Okay so I've got saplings, gonna be very good, very helpful. I'm definitely gonna need some wood. Bone meal, 64 bone meal, that's awesome. Better get wood pretty easy with that. Ooh some food. PB and J. Love PB and J. Very nour nourishing. Sounds good. So it's from the hunger overhaul, so you can see it, it looks a bit different, the hunger here, it's kind of made differently, and you can also see when you hold this it shows how much it's going to add to your hunger. I'm going to put these needle ammo, needle gun ammo in this box with the other ones. So this is really the only weapon we have, this needle gun. So actually I'm going to get it out and get the ammo, and put the ammo in. So this is going to be very helpful when I start getting attacked, which I will be attacked very soon. Okay, so this is the shell constructor, which is what you need to respawn if you die, because it's hardcore, and if you die, you lose. But basically this, you've got like a second life, and once this is like finished building yourself, you can spawn back in there, so I don't want to die before this finishes. Put that there. I'm going to need to configure this so the orange makes the power go in there. 
right click so it basically gets my DNA says I'm the owner and it's starting to build me so that's awesome um, so let's look at the quest book again so it's very basic so that's what I want to do next so I need water, bone meal, dust to get this reward I think I already have that in my inventory let's see yep okay so I get this so I've got a piece of dirt, so I think I'm going to have to pl want to place that down and start growing trees. Let's just look at this first. Okay, so this one usually is the um, QDS, which is this, the quest delivery system. So if it's st for stuff like um, when you're trying to make like a liquid in like the fuel transposer, so I believe what you do is you put saplings in here and it makes water. And then once you've got enough water, it will like detect it with this, so you could get the um, quest. So, what else we got? Drinking mud. So we need dirty water. And it looks like it's just dirt in a bottle. I think I'm going to do that because it gives you the dirt back anyway afterwards. So I want to do this. There we go. So I've got dirt in a water bottle. So I think I'm going to place this dirt down here now, and place sapling, and just grow this quickly. Nice, nice big tree. Okay, let's look at the other quests quickly. Purified, so I want to purify water in a furnace, but it's going to be a while before I actually get a furnace, because cobblestone is very hard to get. Desperate times. Okay, so I need rotten flesh and salt so I can make zombie jerky. Um, so I think I need salt first. Once I have the salt, then I'll come to another section of the quest to get um, zombie flesh and then make zombie jerky. And then I think it'll give me more. Um, so I have to wait tonight to get um, the rotten flesh. And I'll get salt somehow soon. Tools of the trade, I need bone crook and stone hammer um so better get bones at night to make that but i think i want to start getting this wood but before i do that i want to look in this chest here so we have leadstone flux capacitors which hold um the rf energy oh and we've got a crafting station and a oak sieve which is like the main things you really want to start Place it down there and there. So this is like a normal crafting table, but it's just like half slab. And then this is really what you need to do in this mod to get stuff. So you go like you sift through the dust and then you get a bunch of stuff. Oh, that time I got nothing. There we see we've got anything. Yeah, so we've got some redstone. But we can get lots of stuff doing that. We can get salt, ores and stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna go get a bit of this. So I'm gonna wanna make a, um, a wall because these mobs are going to be um, really bad. They're not like normal mobs. They've got lots of health, do lots of damage. So I really want to make a wall. I think I'm just going to make it here to use the least amount of dust possible. Let's get some more dust. sun's going down so I really need to get inside. So I'll just finish this little part of the wall. It definitely won't keep them out. Spiders are better go over and I'm pretty sure they're better walk up and go down. But for now, that's really all I can do. I'm going to quickly get some of this wood before I close myself in.
Okay. I'm gonna close myself in so I don't um, die my first night. As you can see here, it's starting to build at 7%, so it will be finished soon. Um, so what I want to do is use this wood and make some crooks. So, make it like that. So these crooks, I think I'll go out there and see if there's any mobs. Don't see, oh, yep, there's some coming. But these crooks, you can use on the, um, on the leaves to get a higher chance of getting saplings. Like that. But I need to get inside, otherwise I will die, definitely. So there we go. Um, i to fill up my camel pack. Cold water, you can't put cold water in. Maybe that's enough. So, we only got one sapling from that. But we'll have to get more wood and saplings in the day. But we really can't go out there at night. Um, so, I don't think there's any quests we can do at the moment. We really need to just get more saplings and sift through this dust. So, um, I'm gonna go sift through this dust through the night. Okay, so I just finished sifting through the last piece of dust. So now you can see I have lots of stuff, lots of um, pulverized ore. And I got an egg, got a fish, which is pretty good. Glowstone, egg, or a set egg. Um, stone, so this stone is really what you want. So you have four stone and then it's a coal stone. So we're definitely going to need that. So we really want six cobblestone and then we can make a um, slab furnace which is when we really get into making ores and getting a lot of the quests done um, but I think that's all we can do for this night I'm gonna make a chest to put this stuff in um, but we definitely just need to wait out the night and in the day and get some more wood and dust um, so I'll just put all this stuff I collected in there. I'm gonna eat a few apples. See, it only gives half a hunger, which normally gives two, so it's much harder um, than usual. I'm gonna also eat one of these beef jerkies. And that should bring me up close to full. I'm doing okay in water at the moment, but I will run out soon, so I need a source of water. Um, but I think this is where I end the episode for today. I'm going to sit in this seat, because you don't lose hunger when you sit on a seat. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to end the episode here. Um, next time, we'll go outside in, during the day, get some more dust, look around a little bit. Um, finished fortifying the outside and get some more wood but that's it for today and see you next time